My around the world airline ticket requires me to maintain a westerly direction, so I flew from Prague to Norway, where I'll visit the capital Oslo, the tiny fjord village of Flam, and the coastal city of Bergen. Oslo is also Norway's largest city, but at only 500,000, it's still smaller than Quebec City. This is Vigland Park, which contains over 200 sculptures by Gustav Vigland, all of them depicting humans in various stages of life. The sky never gets very dark at 60 degrees latitude in June. I took the train to the isolated village of Flam, folded deeply into the fjords of the west coast. and then by boat and bus to Bergen. It's a lively university town, and the capital of outdoor adventure in Norway. You can watch the sunset for hours from the hostel overlooking the city. This is 10 p.m., 11.30, and midnight. Bergen is surrounded by a vast network of hiking trails, all within walking distance of the city. I still wanted more wilderness, so after getting a topographical map and some local advice, I headed deep into the Norwegian woods. Don't worry, it's not a song segue. Norwegian law guarantees the right for anyone to camp for free on public land for up to two nights as long as you leave no trace. Now that's civilized. This is one of the spots I chose. Next is Stockholm in Sweden and then on to Copenhagen in Denmark. This 19th century sailing ship called the Chapman is actually a floating youth hostel. And this is floating art, Swedish style.
From here I take the train. I sailed away, but I'm home today. Singing Copenhagen, wonderful.